well here in this tutorial what we are going to see what are the different different components how many components you have right or what are the androids different different components are okay so very first component we are going to discuss is that activity what do you mean by activity now right activity is that thing or activity is the user interaction right let's get the actual definition of the activity from the Android developers right I'm going to show you source code over here let's go to the activity and let me type the activity over here and let me show you the source of the activity these many lines of the source Android team has written many lines of code is there okay but presently I'm not interesting any source in the source but I want to explain you what do you mean by the activity so this is the document where you can learn everything so this document is written by the developers so this would be extremely precise right okay and activity is a single focus thing that user can do what do you mean by activity now activity is a single focus thing that user can do almost all the activities interact with the user almost all the activities interact with the user so activity class takes care of creating a window for you I'm going to come back to this thing right once again but for now remember that activity if you have work with the Java swing Z frame is nothing but the activity if you have worked with the Z frame or simple frame that is nothing but the activity so if you think that you are going to develop some kind of calculator over here right you are going to develop some kind of calculator and this would be your digits make sure that you are dealing with the activity if there is a user interaction there is the activity right pardon my layout and all that things right but something like this if there is a user interaction there is activity if there is a user interaction there is activity so activity is the first way of interacting with the user so first component is interacting with the user second component is a sibling of this what I'm saying second component is the sibling of this okay so first one is having user interface second one is not having the user interface which runs in the background so you are playing the game you are playing the game suddenly you receive the whatsapp incoming notification means someone is continuously running in the background and someone is in the foreground and that background one is called as something called as service service so one runs in the foreground one runs in the background for the heavy operations that need to be kept in the background that is nothing but the service and both are the siblings they both have the common ancestor called as context context they have right they have context and conte they are derived indirectly from the context you can say activity and the service they are siblings second component works in the background okay now something about the third component consider that you have an application and you want to receive the battery change notification battery level down the moment battery level is going to be changed your application should be getting one notification the moment Wi-Fi connected application should be getting the notification Wi-Fi disconnected application should be getting notification right phone restarted application should be getting notification date changed application should be getting the notifications means Android system is going to throw the notifications time to time right Android sender sends the notification time to time so at your end 
all that broadcasted messages should be broadcasted messages should be received by broadcast receiver you need to have something called as broadcast receiver android is having broadcast sender your app side would be having broadcast receiver to receive the incoming notifications okay now this is about the third component i am going to come in detail for every single concept every single component we have separate session dedicated session this is just overview of your components right okay now you all of might have used the whatsapp and your contact list whatsapp directly accesses your contact list how in between them someone is there and that someone is called as what you can say content provider two applications is having two separate databases communicating with that database or the bridge between these two separate database is your content provider related to the data and your fourth component content provider we have in detail session custom content providers built in content providers we are going to get or we are going to fetch the contact list and we are going to show in our application in this topic content providers right well this is all about our overview of your components in the next tutorial or in the next topic i am going to explain what are the android resources why do you need that resource folder how that are handled by the r file and what app tool does so don't forget to watch that that lecture and how all these things are going to be clashed with each other we'll explain in next tutorial okay